looking at the lateral incisor, uh, actually according to the proportion gauge, the proportions are correct. The tooth is as wide as the blue lines and it's as long as the blue line. So in terms of uh, proportion, it's actually correct. So my initial assessment was that this tooth is absolutely fine in terms of uh, its proportion. And if we do some crown lengthening, what's going to happen is that we'll expose some of the root structure, some of the cementum and dentin uh, that will basically commit the patient to having a, a restoration on this tooth. Uh, here we see the uh, provisional that was cut short and this patient was wearing this provisional for a very long time so excuse the uh, color and the, uh, the condition of this provisional but uh, we have to understand that this situation is uh, not very simple to manage and it, it's very very tricky especially with um, young adults that uh, you know it can be really really uh, devastating. So the first thing that I did, I did a, uh, a digital simulation and I lengthened the lateral and central incisor on the right to try and match and I think it gives us a little bit, uh, a little bit of a better flow in terms of the um, uh, gingival margin. Uh, here we see the uh, smile so we can also eliminate some of the gingival display and this is again the benefit of doing a, um, a digital simulation. I showed this in many other videos how simple and inexpensive it is and how effective. So if you look at the simulation, uh, just by lengthening the lateral and central incisor on the right, we can create a better flow of the soft tissue, we can create a little bit better symmetry, we can eliminate some of the gingival display, uh, which is all positive, but we also have to see what are the limitations of this case. We still have excessive tissue. Uh, we still have a deficient ridge and the most challenging is really the transition between the uh, final restoration, uh, final, final implant restoration and the left central incisor because there's no papilla. So it'll be very inter interesting to see how this case will resolve. So to summarize, this is a relatively uh, complex case when you have two adjacent implants in the aesthetic zone with a deficient ridge and loss of tissue and papilla also on the adjacent teeth, it's going to be uh, tricky. So the plan is to perform an aesthetic crown lengthening on tooth number seven and eight to improve the symmetry between right and left. And I'm going to show you the surgery in the next video. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, if you're interested in uh, soft tissue aesthetics and creating better balance and proportions for your patient's teeth and improving the smile aesthetics, uh, aesthetic crown lengthening is a really, really important procedure that uh, you can master and incorporate in your practice. Uh, at the moment, I have a waiting list for my upcoming crown lengthening course online. Uh, it's coming up really, really soon. You can go to crownlengtheningsurgery.com to sign up for the waiting list and get all the announcement and be the first one to know about it. If you're seeing this video uh, after the course came out already, still go to the same link crawlingthinningsurgery.com it'll lead you to a page where you can join this course and learn about quality so i'll see you in the next video